Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my Solace Crafting tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on continuing in the golden moment of Solace. And what I mean by that is you hit a new tier and have, have, have tons of upgrading to do and everything gets improved and made better. Is that not golden? Right, so the only question is where to start so much to do and so many things that I need to upgrade so it's going to be really I've done them free around there so it's going to be these benches now um, I've done that one did that for my weapon so the tailoring that's no actually da -da, I start with let's show you oops let's not do that uh, I start with the backpack. Why the backpack? Because it will give us extra inventory space. That's the number one. That's numero uno. After that, it's a toss up between the armor or the. Well, actually, no, after that, it's the bags because you start filling up your space. So you want to make, create more space. Um, so we want to. So right, okay, this is the first one. So check that out. I've got two rows and I've got five here. So we'll have a look at when I upgrade that. It starts with the tail the uh, level working station for the backpack. So if I access that, go to upgrades and 15 lumber, five iron. There you go, job done. Next, I need to do the associated skinning rack. Did I not build a skinning rack? I'm sure I must have. Where did I put the skinning rack? Oh, around the other side. There, you, there it is. Uh, cool, look, if I'm like this in a tiny little town, what am I going to be like when it gets to a city? I'll probably be lost for half the episode. Right, so, here. Oh, I still haven't emptied that out. Oh, I made much too much. Really didn't need that much. Um, and I didn't even use that rare. Oh, well. Um, the thing is, I'm going to have to empty that out. Okay, so you can see there, for the tanning rack, let's upgrade it first before I get drifting. Uh, so if you just need 10 timber for that. Easy peasy. Go back. The next thing that you need to do, notice I have a tier 0 um, tanning font. I need a tier 1 tanning font. Because I don't want to have to keep putting tannin in there. In fact, this is all tier 0, so that can all be bunged up in the chest. Right, to do the tier 1 tanning font, we go to leather working. And. Oh, I can't rem actually remember. Well, there's the backpack. Let's just do this. There's not a huge list in here. Tanning font. So you need one essence of wood like I did so that's one of the few things I've ever said right uh, so one essence of wood and ten tanning uh, let's create you can't adjust the stuff with oh you can adjust the tier of course but the other two you can't the level or the rare there aren't no rarities when it comes to essence so we'll do that now we go back to the uh, tanning rack and we put the, pop that in there there you go, so tier 0, tier 1. Now, of course, we need some leather. And I'm not going to use any uncommon leather for the backpack because you get no benefits from it. So just common leather, tier 1 leather. That's what we're going to use. And that's more than enough. I mean, you know, I kill creatures and I skin them. When I didn't need leather, I did it for the skill gain. Because, you, like I said, previously with your harvesting try and keep them all at the same level I want to get them all at least to tier, tier, tier 3 for all of these uh, right so there we are let's refine now we've got the leather now we can go to crafting now we can go to the backpack this is 7 slots so every upgrade like I said previously every time you hit a new tier and you do a new backpack you will get 2 extra inventory slots Again, you can't upgrade, and if you do uncommon, there's currently no benefits to using uncommon, as you can see. So I'll just create that. We go to my pocket. Now, okay, so observe, there's five. Right, 
has to come out of it, go back in. There's five, right click to put it in to equip it, and there you go, I've now got seven. Is that not joy, seeing your pocket get bigger? I mean, how magical would that be if you wore a pair of jeans that just kept getting bigger? You could eye, not as in the size of them, but in the pocket space. Anyway, right, I'm waffling. I'm going off on one. Next, I need to do the bags because this just don't cut it. It really don't. It don't cut it. Now, to do the bags then, similar process. We'll go around to the tailoring station and we'll upgrade that. 15 lumber, 5 iron. There you go. Bob's your uncle. Come out of there. Now we need to go to the ret retching vat or retting vat. There. We need to upgrade that. 25 timber, nice and simple, easy peasy. Done. Now we need to go to, because I need to do a font. So that, of course, will be in tailoring. There it is, a water font. For that, you need one water essence, or essence of water, and 10 globes of water. Uh, so yeah, tier one, craft. Remember, you don't get rarities with uh, essence. Now that we've got that, come out of there, go back into there, and pop that in there. So we've got tier one, tier tier zero tier one now I can throw all my stalks in and we will be using the rare stalks on my armor but I want to do bags lots of bags and lots of chests we ain't got to the chests yet but they're coming right so we'll go in here so let's put the common first and then the uncommon Let's refine. So I'm going to be using this first of all. I should really go and bung this in a chest, this tier zero, so it don't all get mixed up. Let's go to crafting. Let's craft a bag. Again, you can't, you know, uncommon that doesn't do anything for it at the moment. Craft. Take a look. So there's my tier one. So my tier zero bag looks like that. My tier one looks a bit better, doesn't it? Isn't that nice seeing it get improved? Right, okay, so let's quickly, because my pocket's now going to fill up with all these bags. So I need to quickly drop off a few items which I don't really need to have on me. Uh, which is um, oh yeah this thread tier zero thread which would be over here there it is uh, no actually what am I talking about that's leather it's not thread duh oh and I haven't done a leather chest the good news is I can do a, a tier one chest Eighteen slots now. Oh, dang it! I need. Um, I should have used uncommon. Have I got uncommon wood? I think I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have. So I should have used. No, what am I talking about? Sorry, my brain is just going. What I should, what I mean, meant was what I should have done was change the colour because it's for an uncommon resource. <sighs> Trying to get myself organised. That's a mission impossible. All right, let's create another one. Interestingly, in the while they're in your pocket, they don't look no different. It's only when you place it down that you realise the beauty of it, the true beauty. Right, so let's put it there. Okay, now 
now if we take a look so how many slots extra has it got two every time you get to a new tier your bags your backpack will get two extra slots that is super cool oh and your inventory space doesn't sound like a lot but I'm only on tier one for goodness sake so you imagine what it'd be like tier 10 tier 20 tier 30 be awesome right okay so let's put in the lever the uncommon lever and rename the top rest of the lever goes in here. Always nice to have a spare chest in fact in your pocket. I think for me it's just the comfort of knowing it's there. How weird does that sound? Right so okay that's in there. I'm trying to keep all my tier 1 stuff from my tier 1 base. I don't want to clog it up and make a complete mess and be difficult to find stuff. That's why I want to organise now a base at each new tier. But it's got to be 100 to 200 metres into the tier so that I'm that guaranteed all tier, all of that tier resource around me. Um, this bag needs to be dropped at some point. So I'll make a nice little rubbish pile somewhere along with that bag. I can't really do anything with the rest of that. Right, OK, let's do me armour. Because I did say I'd do me armour before the timer goes. Let's, I hope I can. Sorry if I go longer. Right, so for the armour, I'm going to be using the rare stalks that I must have put in the retting vat. Yeah, there they are. I mean, I'll do the rest of the bags later. Or I might do some more. Let's do this armour first. Right, so now that I've got that coolness, I can go to crafting. I want tailoring and I want armour and I hope I've got enough um, let's do the jacket first so I'm level 4 watch the armour go up oh have I spilt one pro tip always make sure you've spent your skill points in that crafting skill like especially for tailoring before you actually do it because that's why every point you put in will increase the armor rating of crafted light armor so I'm crafting light armor so let's upgrade that you see I've got a little tiny little bit more bonus but it really helps back to crafting now I'm ready to do it and every time I level I will go back and put the point in so let's start with the boots so it's right level right tier do uncommon jumps it up all of it helps there we go that's what we want and then craft I could do a different no I could do green as it's uncommon What do you think? Am I going to look like a ice? <coughs> Am I going to look like an ice or? At least I'm demonstrating for you. Uh, what would go nice with green? A light, a shade of green, or just white? Let's do it white for now. Let's see how this comes out. So, and double check everything you're doing. The amount of resources I've wasted because either I've been a tier too low or a level too low or not using the right rarity so craft see I gained a level so what we do switch straight back now put another point in because it's going to boost the armor a bit more you feel me with that right so let's go to venturing and let's equip my boots Are they green oh well, I suppose it has the green box around it anyway so it doesn't really matter so let's see what did that do for us so my armor with the common is 6.69 you see there that wasn't a huge leap in actual fact but it did improve and it was only the boots right next 
let's do the gauntlets and I don't think the colour shows does it no so I won't worry about colours so the gauntlets there we go that will do and next the helmet it's funny it says helmet then cap there that says gauntlets and it was gloves uh, jacket what will that be I wonder coat oh robe of course oh again another level so switch back another point in go back and the last one leggings Oh, gain another level. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I'm in the golden moment of solace. There you go, look, 0 0.4. Now, what I want to do this time is I'm going to put my bog standard boots back in. So, there's my total armour rating, 6.69. So, it's gone up now to 10. Not a huge leap. But I believe when you see now a tier 1 creature attack me, it's going to do a lot less damage. Even though that was a tiny little increase, it's going to do a lot less damage to me. Oh, and I've dropped something at my feet. Let's make some space with my new big bag. Or bigger bag. So let's put this stuff in there. Oh, all of that for now. Let's see what I've just made dropped. I don't want to drop it here. I don't drop stuff in my base. Oh, it was the pants. I didn't even have them, so let's put them on. No, oh, 11.5 now. Yeah, it may not seem like a much, much of a leap from 6.9, but when you see the creatures attack me, which let's, if the timer don't go, I'll show that. I'll have a quick dust up with a few an enemy or two. Um, what was the other thing? Oh my, yeah, I wanted to do my skill level. So I haven't done any points into. Let's do my attributes first of all. See how many I've got. Remember the three I stick to are stamina, intelligence, and wisdom. So stamina first. I've got 24 points divided by three <coughs> is eight. So I can spend eight points. Um, if we were to check my damage output 14.3 can you remember that for me please right let's go back and let's do this so 8 points eight points and 8 points back what's my magic damage 18.3 so that made a nice jump as well all these little upgrades to craft you into a, a superpower with super underwear I was gonna say super pants but it's called underwear right so what else was I gonna do oh yeah not finished yet so now I can I really need to do something about that heel it's about effective as a wet cabbage leaf um, so and I plus I want to unlock some of the I want to unlock the good stuff the rejuvenate and oh the, yeah the ward the light ward that's cool and that is cool bless that again helps increase my magic damage but it uh, so I've got to start with, see both of these are good. This armour is just awesome. I've got 24 points. See the armour now that this is going to give me is also awesome. Oh look, I've unlocked the next tier. Let's put some points in bless. Oh, 
Oh, there's the timer. Um, oh, I just love it. Look at the jumps. Look at the jumps in the thing. And if I went back and checked my magic, the uh, thing is that I want to save some points for my damage output. Uh, let's see. Let's put five points in each. No, let's bring them up to ten. Gives me five points. Oops, five points for here. Really, though, um, because I'm wearing Fred armor, I really need to do my. This is such an awesome one. The, the, the armor it gives you and the duration increasing, you really do become a superpower. knowing what to use the points 10 healing yeah that's all right I could use the last two points in there and that we need to now put I don't use the lightning I just I don't like I like these two uh, so what's the order I normally do it in I'll pull it as eight the armor is five uh, s sorry, I put the blessing in eight, the armor buff in seven, re the re uh, rejuvenate once ah. I. Oops, I'll put rejuvenate and then there's two more buffs. What am I missing? Oh yeah, the warding. The warding will go in six, and there is that invulnerability but I never ever think to use it instead I die so you know it's a great idea me putting that down there but I never think to I'm, I'm, I panic like a headless chicken and when I'm starting to get seriously hurt anyway so right that's all of the upgrades done of course I now need to go and um, do all my bags but you'll see that when I start the next episode and as I increase my slots in my inventory with the backpack, I just add two more bags. So them two free slots I get, I actually then now will make two more additional bags. Which means I'll be able to carry a load more stuff, because check that out. That's the coolness. That's the golden moment. Right, so I'll end it here. In the next episode, we're going to go do some fighting I want to see how I can do now against the tier 1 I want to go conquer some monoliths in the tier 1 zone I might be being a bit cocky here maybe I'm not strong enough but we'll soon find out wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye